All right, yo, what's going on, guys? Bar Kage, the Hidden Gains Village here today. Bringing you guys my full semi-raw push workout. <clears throat> Basically, today is just kind of a chill day. Not really going for anything crazy PR-wise. We're just going to get a good workout in. So what we got for you guys today, we got uh, muscle-up work, some handstand push-ups, and then a little um, little uh, compound set with Russian dips, pseudo planche push-ups on the straight bar, and diamond push-ups as well. So going to get into the first set, and I'll uh, hit you guys up when I'm done. That was set number one. Started with the front lever muscle ups. I really like working the front lever muscle ups because it's a good way to train uh, statics and dynamic at the same time. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out is I'm trying to go as slow as I can. I mean, maybe you wouldn't consider it slow, but I'm going, trying to control the way down as best I can to keep that nice false grip on top of the bar because uh, that will help translate to a festo work. So I'm gonna hit the next couple sets and I'll uh, back to you guys. Set number two has been complete. I'm gonna do one more set of the front lever L sit drop set. And then I'm gonna move to the high bar, possibly close grip because, hold up. As you guys are gonna see, we got a curve on the bar there. So it's a lot easier to go with the close grip muscle ups rather than the wide grip. So I'm gonna hit one more set of front lever pull ups and then move on. Okay, so as you guys saw by that set, I'm clearly done with the front levers. That was set of three and then kind of a negative because I couldn't get the next L set, but we're gonna be moving to the high bar now. I'm a lot better at it. So gonna be going for six to eight reps on that. I'm trying to be a little more explosive this time, obviously. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, everyone, so I've just done six sets of muscle ups total, like including the front lever. Right now, I'm gonna do one more set of just as many as I can, just gonna let it rip, not really worried about form, just going to failure. For this one, my goal is 10, so we'll see if I get it. Okay, everyone just got done with the max out i think that was 10 i'm not quite sure it might have been 10 might have been nine anyway i'm happy with it like i said i wasn't really concerned about form there but it is what it is i think it was still probably pretty good secondly i do want to point out that i am trying to work on like you guys will see in a lot of these clips on muscle ups i go up on some of them and i do what i call i call it bar camping i like will sit on top of the bar for you know couple seconds to catch my breath and then go down and back up don't do that I just it's just a bad habit I got into so definitely don't do that anyway we're gonna hit these handstand push-ups and get on with it
Okay, everyone, so I finished my sets of handstand push-ups. Before I move on, I'm gonna do just a diamond grip handstand hold for as long as I can, so. Okay guys, so that diamond hold really wasn't very good. I think it was like five seconds or something. You guys will see that. Anyway, one thing you guys are gonna notice on my handstand push-ups is that they really aren't perfect. Um, one thing I'm really working on is just trying to keep a nice straight back the entire time. You guys are gonna see on some of my sets, I do have a slight arch in the back and I'm trying to fix that. But like I said, it's a work in progress. I want you guys to see kind of everything. I wanna keep it real, you know, cause I feel like Instagram is a place where to post like you know, your perfect stuff. And I feel like, you know, it's good for people to see that, you know, it's not always perfect and that even people that you think are at the highest level are still trying to improve. So I think that's a good point to make. And uh, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next set of uh, dips and stuff. Okay, everyone, so the workout is now complete. You guys are probably only gonna see one of the little uh, circuit thing I did at the end, just because I thought that was pretty redundant, just to <clears throat> just to show that six times over. So it's whatever. I, other than that, I do wanna clarify one thing. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm training muscle up on push day when a lot of people probably think it's a pull. So basically for me, this is just my own experience. When I'm doing muscle ups, I'm going, you don't really go straight up, you go kind of around the bar and up. So with that, I really feel a lot more in my uh, tries when I'm going up. And then obviously, you know, the straight bar dip is mainly uh, chest and triceps. So overall, I'd say it's like a total body movement. But for me, for me, I definitely would classify it more of a push. But like I said, it could kind of go in either one. So for those of you guys asking about that, hope that clears that up. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope you guys like this type of thing because I'm going to be doing it a lot. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel for more. I'll catch you guys in the next one.